Hello friends, welcome back to my channel again. I am Vijay Lohar here. Since last two sessions we are discussing about interwheel and routing options. So today in this session we will continue the topic and we will talk about third method of interwheel and routing and that is interwheel and routing by multi-layer switch or layer 3 switch using switched virtual interface. In our previous method of interwheel and routing we saw that we must have a routing device which will forward our wheel and traffic with each other with the VLAN will connect with our routing device using a separate physical link or by using trunk link with sub interface but by using multi layer switch or layer 3 switch we do not require any physical port or physical link to connect with our routing device because our layer 3 switch or multi layer switch is itself capable of routing features. So the routing of VLAN will be done internally. So the network performance will be very fast as well as our switch will itself be the gateway for each VLAN. So let us see how to configure inter VLAN routing by using multi layer switch. So proceed for the practical here. As you can see here I have added a switch multi layer switch that is 3560 model switch and we have some department like sales department, management department and production department and every department has configured with different network address like uh, sales department computers are configured with 192.168.10.0 slash 24 management department computers are 192.168.20.0 slash 24 network and 192.168.30.0 slash 24 is for the production department. So we have to configure VLAN for this departments in this switch and we will have to route VLAN traffic inside this switch as this switch is layer 3 switch or multi layer switch so it itself capable of routing features so let us see how to configure that so first of all we will have to configure some VLAN I have not configured anything right now I have just configured IP address for the computer as you can see here sales department computer is using 192.168.10.2 IP address with this subnet mask and this will be the gateway. We have not configured gateway right now but I will assign IP address for the gateway as 192.168.10.1 and so on for the management department and production department. There is only IP address is configured with the computers and all things are blank in this switch. So we are starting here to configure VLAN, enable, configure terminal, if you want to verify if there is already some VLAN, so VLAN brief and you can see here we have only default VLANs and all the physical ports are by default assigned to VLAN 1. So we will have to configure VLAN for sales, management and production. So let us proceed for that, configure terminal, VLAN 2 and the name of VLAN 2 will be sales, okay. I am creating third VLAN and that will be management, okay and now for the fourth one that will be production ok so we have configured our VLAN let us verify it so VLAN brief and now you can see here we have some more VLAN sales management and production but there is no port assigned to this VLAN so let us proceed for that configure terminal interface fast ethernet I am not going to assign port to VLAN one by one but I will use interface range command fast ethernet 0 by 1 to 8 just be careful about the interface because this computer of sales department are connected with port number 1 2 and 3 of this switch so I am assigning port number 1 to 8 to VLAN 2 switch port mode access this command will be important here and switch port access VLAN 2 
as we used earlier for the VLAN membership. So our port number 1 to 8 is moving to VLAN 2 and that is sales. Okay. So what next we have to do here is next assign port for management VLAN, this VLAN. So what I am going to do here is as you can see here our computer our management department is using 9, 10 and 11 ports. So I will start our port number from 9 to 16 okay and now switch port mode access and switch port access VLAN 3. So port number 9 to 16 is moving to VLAN 3 and again 17 to 21 I am moving this port to switch port access VLAN switch port access VLAN 4 okay switch port mode access and switch port access VLAN 4 okay done exit exit now verify your VLAN so VLAN brief as you can see here now our newly created VLAN is having some ports like sales department is having 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 number of port but our management department is having 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 16 and our production department is having port 17, 18, 19, 20 and 21. So what next we have to do here is we will have to configure switched virtual interface. So how to configure switched virtual interface just you have VLAN 2 vlan 3 and vlan 4 these vlan can use switched virtual interface so what i'll do here is interface vlan 2 so it will create your switched virtual interface vlan 2 will itself be gateway for vlan computers or vlan devices and so i'm going to assign ip address here i'm assigning ip address to vlan 2 be careful about that 192.168. And what gateway will be here that 192.168.10.1 will be the gateway. So the VLAN 2 will be the gateway for the computers connected with VLAN cells with the subnet mask 255.255.255.0. Okay, no need to use command no set because that's already up now. And again, I will configure VLAN 3 as virtual interface and I'll assign IP address or the gateway for the computers connected with management department. And as I have given here, gateway must be 192.168.20.1. So the IP address for this virtual interface will be 192. Sorry, 192.168.20.1. 20.1255.255.255.0 okay exit and so on for the third vlan or vlan number 4 the ip address for this virtual interface will be ip address 192.168.30.1 as you can see here so this virtual interface will be the gateway for production VLAN. Exit. Okay. So done now. We have configured our virtual interface. But the most important command is still there. That is IP routing, which will enable our switch for routing feature. Sorry, IP routing. This command will enable into VLAN routing. So just remember this command after configure your switched virtual interface. So now let's try. What to do here is I'll have to try to check the communication between other VLAN computer. So I'm accessing this computer and trying to ping this computer 
the IP address of this computer is 192.168.20.2. So let's do that. 192.168.20.2 is the IP address of management VLAN's first computer. It will take some time at very first time and now we are getting reply. So our traffic from VLAN cells is going through our switch and further to the destination. You can verify it. Pressure. As you can see here, our packet is moving through 192.168.10.1, which is the IP address of our virtual interface VLAN 2. And again, that is delivering to this address that is 192.168.20.2. So the gateway is this one. So our network traffic moving through our switch. If you want to verify with some other computer, just ping 192.168.30.2, which is the IP address of production department computer, this one, and we are getting reply. If you verify communication from this computer to this one, 192.168.10.2, and we are getting reply, and if we verify the route, we will see that treasure 192.168. sorry 68.10.2. So, our packet is moving through the gateway. That is it. Our switch is internally routing VLAN traffic. Thank you for watching. I hope you like this video and if so, Please do subscribe and share with your friends. Till next video, bye bye.